For part A, to find the magnitude of the acceleration, we need to use the old familiar F equals MA, and of course F is a vector and A is a vector. So this means that A, which is what we're wanting to use, is the vector for F divided by the mass. And that, because the mass is 2, that is going to be minus 3 over 2i plus 4 over 2j minus 5 over 2k, which is minus 3 over 2i plus 2j minus 5 over 2k. And for the magnitude of a vector, we want the length. So that's like a 3D Pythagoras. So we need the square root of, and I'm leaving out the minuses because when we square them, they don't matter. So 3 over 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 5 over 2 squared. And that comes out to 5 root 2 over 2. You can use a calculating machine for that, which is... 3.54 meters per second squared and that's obviously to 2 dp of course that was part a is part a there is an alternative there which is just to work out the modulus of f which is the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared which comes out at root 50 or 5 root 2 and then we can use an ordinary f equals ma non-vector because we've now got the modulus of the force and then we have uh, mod a which is now actually our a and we could put modulus signs in there if we want. But mod A is going to be mod F over M, which is 5 root 2 over 2. And we're there. Now, there are two ways of doing part B as well. The first way is to use SUVAT. So we have... Uh, S as a vector equals U vector T plus a half A vector T squared. And what are our SUVAT values? Well, S is what we're trying to find. We know that U is the initial velocity which is 3i minus 2j plus k we don't care about v and a we've just worked out above is minus 3 over 2i plus 2j minus 5 over 2k and our time is two seconds, so that's two. Now, at this point, I must say, I find the writing the i's, j's and k's out irksome. So I'm going to write column vectors. So s i, s j, s k equals u, which is three minus 2, 1, times 2, plus a half of minus 3 over 2, 2 minus 5 over 2, times 2 squared. So, in our i position, we have 3 times 2 is 6, we have 4, and the 2 squared times a half, which is 2, so I'm actually going to cancel that, so we've got minus 3 from that second part, so it's 6 take away 3 is 3, 
minus 2 times 2 is minus 4, 2 times 2 is 4, so that's 0, 2 times 1 is 2, minus 5 over 2 times 2 is minus 5, so that's minus 3. So that's the displacement of the particle uh, over the two, two seconds, and so the final position of the particle, which I'm going to call R. I might write some words, but I'm keeping these bilingual. So R would be the starting position, which was 2 minus 7, 9, plus the displacement, 3, 0, minus 3, which gives me 5, minus 7, 6. And it's fine to leave it as that, but you could, if you wanted, you could then write 5i minus 7j plus 6k. An alternative method for b, which is pretty cool, is to recognise that r is the integral of v dt, and that v is the integral of a dt. So this means that r is the integral of the integral of a dt dt. So, we'll start off with finding v. So v is the integral of a. Now a, we know from the start, was minus 3 over 2i plus 2j minus 5 over 2k dt. And so when we integrate that, we're going to get minus 3 over 2i plus 2j minus 5 over 2k all times t plus a constant. But actually, we know what v is when t is equal to naught, so knowing that when t is naught, v is equal to 3i minus 2j plus k, then we have that for v. So now we're going to do that r is the integral of that lot. And because we have it on, that, on this line here, I'm not going to write it all out again, because that's a faff, because we know that this is just going to become t squared over 2 when we integrate, and for this lot, when we integrate that, that's just going to be times t, because they're constants. And as before, we know what r is when t is equal to 0. So that's the position vector at t equals naught is 2i minus 7j plus 9k. So r is therefore, well... If we put t equals 2 into here, because that's the time that we're interested in, then the first term, t squared, is going to be 4 over 2, so that's 2. So that's going to give us minus 3i, and then we've got 2 times 2j, so that's 4j, and 2 times minus 5 over 2, okay, so that's minus 5. The second term, t is 2, so we're going to get 6 minus 4, 2. And then for that remaining bit, of course, we're just going to be able to write that straight out. And so we get our final answer, which is minus 3 plus 6 plus 2, which is 5. 
we have 4, take away 4, minus 7, which is minus 7. And we get minus 5, plus 2, plus 9, which is 6. And that's our final answer. Now, in part A, the equivalence of the two solutions is obvious. But in part B, the eagle eyed amongst you will have noticed that a lot of the numbers coming out are the same. So, we of course have the 2 minus 7, 9 in both cases. So we see that here in the first version and here in the second. But the minus 3, 4, minus 5 and the 6, minus 4, 2 are sort of hidden, not very well hidden, but the 6 minus 4, 2, which is here, is actually here. And the minus 3, 4, minus 5 is here. So that's rather nice and shows that, of course, there's a connection but actually it's quite a, an easy connection between the SUVAT version and the calculus version. So if we just have a quick look at that, then if we start with V equals the integral of A dt, then for SUVAT we're talking about constant acceleration, so this becomes a t plus a constant. Now when t is naught, v, the velocity, is equal to u. So that gives us our v equals u plus a t, written round the other way. And then we have s is the integral of v dt, which means we have the integral of a t plus u dt. Now, the first part of that t integrates to t squared over 2, which is the same as a half t squared, and we have our constant a. u is a constant because it's the initial velocity, so that gives us ut. And when t is naught, s, the displacement, is naught. So we can write that round the familiar way, s equals ut plus a half a t squared. And you'll have seen different derivations of the CVAT formulae, some algebraic, some you can do from the velocity time graph, but there's a nice calculus one which links things together rather nicely.